Hello everybody, this is Lady Brandom, and welcome back to part 3 of Fatal Frame, Main to Blackwater. Sorry, I haven't uploaded recently, just been some stuff going on. I'm almost done with my upgraded model. Um, I was gonna play the Resident Evil 8 demo, but for some reason it doesn't want to cooperate with my PC. Anyway, uh, if you, as usual, if you like my stuff, maybe give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. And with that said, let's get started. Last we left off, we were playing as What's-His-Face. I can't remember his name because I am bad with names. Okay, so, oh, clear. Um, I guess interlude? Okay, go to load. Okay, uh, that mountain. After Fuyuhi's death, countless corpses washed into the, into the pool of purification, along with the camera obscura. Hisoka must be up there somewhere. Yuri sets out looking for clues. Okay. So yeah, we were playing his, his name was Ren, and his, he had his assistant Rui following him. Uh, with Hosoka still missing, Yuri recalls what she witnessed on the mountain. Fuyuhi taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed off with the pool of purification. These disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hakami houses some kind of horrifying secret. Well, yeah, duh. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. Okay. Hopefully I don't have any issues with the camera and with the controller and hitting my mic. Um. Huh? There was no body, right? Uh. And you said, what was it? That lots of women's bodies washed up afterwards? Sounds like a cop that doesn't believe her. I think there have been reports saying something like that before. Oh, well. I'll see what I can find out tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Well, I didn't take her seriously. Objective has been set because the camera obscure on the desk. Okay. Why do I get the... F Ooh, wait, there's something else. No. Okay. Is there something on the bed? No, just this. Okay. Um. Hisoka's camera obscure is on the desk. This is the only picture from the camera obscure that shows anything. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. The other photos are no good. They're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. This doesn't tell me anything. Maybe there are more clues in Hisoka's room. Why do I get the feeling something's gonna be haunting this place we're in? Oh yeah, totally. Look at that. Pull the camera up, and I think uh, my avatar's on the right side of the screen again. So I'm sorry about that, but um, since I'm already playing, I'll have to fix it for the next video. Okay, um... Wait, I thought that was Hisoka's room. Oh, no, that's... Okay. That's her room. There's nothing in there, so let's see. Please don't scare me, ghost. I know once something's gonna pop out at me. Do not like... Do not like that sound. Do not come out and scare me. Do not leave. Okay, that's her room. What's over here? another staircase oh it's another staircase okay there's two stairs <gasps> forget me jeez who the heck is that we're all in uniform um what was that is there something in that room okay we'll go in there in a minute let's go back to Hisoka's room that scared the freaking crap out of me uh small plant potted plant plantain lily sits on top of the low dresser yeah that's not very interesting um Hi, Hisoka, who's still alive. And I guess this is some kind of spirit thing. Hisoka. She liked to sit at her desk to relax. Japanese style of the room helped her de-stress. What is that creepy noise? Is it like a radio or something? Stupid radio. Radio. No, oh, stupid radio. Why can't you turn it off? It's annoying. Oh, open? Okay, so what was the point of that? Gosh, that's annoying. Why don't you turn that off? I don't want to listen to that crap. Just listen to static, because that's fun. The drawer is locked. The camera obscures reacting to it. Okay, so... 
do the thingy with the camera. So it does the weird noise thingy. There we go. There's something in the picture. This is, it's a storeroom on the first floor. Okay. Bed has been tucked away behind the desk. This room used to be a study and the bed was in another room. Zoka moved the bed in here so I could take her. Zoka said that she prefers cozy quarters. I hope she's not just doing it for my sake. Okay. All right, well. That radio is freaking me out. I don't like that. All right, let's go check, um, whatever the heck this was. And I'm going on stairs to the storeroom. Please don't be a ghost girl in here. Don't I have enough things to kill? Okay, right, what is it? Stupid door closing, scaring me. There's an old file on top of some luggage, a car, and a roomie. Who is this? It looks like a report on a shadow reading case, but most of it has been erased, making it difficult to read. Subject, Akari Narumi, client, Kyoko Narumi, token, personal photo, details. Result, subject deceased. Nothing I could do. A girl in a school uniform. It's been crumpled up so many times you can't make out the face. Okay. So this was always somebody's room. Anything in here? Open. I mean, what is the point of that? Just to scare the crap out of me and hope, like, you know, make me think a stupid spirit's gonna- can's gonna jump out and grab me? Eh. Alright, let's go downstairs. I guess I didn't- I must not have explored the whole place because I know I didn't. Yep, I definitely wasn't in here. Alright, um... I think... Check. Bookshelf is packed with thick tomes, most come free with other antiques, and they've been kept in the hope that we can sell them too. Wait, what was that? Did I see something? Check. The wall of the house next door is just visible through the frosted glass. Okay. What the? Oh, it's, it's raining. This is spooky. Who would ever want to come back? This is spooky as heck. Look at this. I don't like this. Look, I'm in a creepy storeroom. Jeez. Oh, shoot. It gets even darker. Oh, that's the other stairway. Okay. This must... Wow, it's pretty light in here for being so creepy. Let me just I'll check something. There's a clock on top of the old dresser. The face is worn and faded. Hisoka seems to really like this clock. Please don't grab me, spirit hand. There's something under the bed. It's a small key. Well, maybe it opens the drawer in Hisoka's desk. Yes, because I don't know how to get back up there. Some dusty old paperwork was also under there. Miku Hinasaki. It looks like a shadow reading request. Case closed is written in large red letters. Subject, Miku Hinasaki. Client, Sachi Iyama. Friend. Token, personal photo, details disappeared, searching for a missing brother, but was found. More of one, father unknown, mother of one, father unknown, disappeared again three years later. Note, photographer, client is her daughter's guardian. Uh, Miku, who, oh, Miku is the girl from the first game. She was also in the third game. Result, search abandoned, attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Suspect, subject is still alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that this subject does not want to be found. Warm but lonely expression. She looks like she might fade away at any moment. Looks like there are a few more pages in here. Mugi, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Hatashina. 
Uh, client, family physician, token personal photo, details, unstable family. Tendency to blame herself for stroke with her half-sister, bears self-inflicted wounds. Note, strict family may be the cause. We'll also, we'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Research, search abandoned. Or results, search abandoned. Contacted by the family, matter has been turned over to the police, have been asked to drop the investigation. Her face seems tinged with sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. Case closed is written in uh, red letters. Yuri Kozukata. Personal photo. Emotionally unstable after a family lost an accident. Stopped going to school a few days ago. Ne neighbors say she left home as normal. Claimed to see things others can't now recovered. Taken into custody. Observation required. Safety. Safely in my custody. Custody. Believe close attention is necessary. We'll look after her for a while. High school graduation photo. Just look at that intense expression. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. Okay. Okay, I gotta go check the desk. You know, this whole game is designed to creep the heck out of me. And it does a very good job of doing that. Man, I keep thinking that stupid radio is a ghost. The fact that I cannot... Oh, I want to turn that off. Alright, so let's go see what's in the desk. Use a small key to unlock the door. Haruka Mimose. There was a file tucked away in the desk drawer. It contains photos and several sheets of paper. Subject to Haruka, Haruka client. Oh, that's the girl that... Uh, uh, that Fuyuhi, that was the girl we were, uh, that one girl from the first chapter. Token personal photo, details, client subject used to be cafe regulars. A group suicide was reported at the time of disappearance, connection unknown. Uh, note, a quiet, gentle girl seemed keen to please others. Aruka Momose, Momose, compared to her folder with Fuyuhi, she has a somewhat darker expression. Miyu Hinasaki, looks like someone else who went missing on the mountain. Oh, no, that's, this is the girl we played in the... Prologue. Okay. Subject Miyu Hinasaki, client S. Iyama, foster mom. Token personal photo. Details went looking for her birth mother, missing since subject's childhood. Uttered something about Aunt Hikami, according to her talent agent. Note, said to possess psychic powers, client is very worried. A photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is Miyu Hinasaki. A cassette tape from an answering machine. The label shows a date and a client's name. Uh, missing person file for one. Kazuya Saka Sakaki Sakaki. I've heard his Soka mention the name before. Uh, client Ron Hojo. Token personal photo. Details known to wander off. Went in incommunicado. I can't even freaking talk. Went incommunicado. Well, in gathering postmortem photographs for rent. Awaiting possible contact note gives a bad impression. Seems quite unlike Ren. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. I have no idea who that is. Uh, Hisoka's journal one. There was a journal tucked away in a drawer. Met with a potential client. Doesn't know whether subject is alive or dead. Says she may have wandered off somewhere. May be waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up. Said something I shouldn't have. I asked what she'd do when we find her. She laughed and said, when she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it all. I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose. I have to go. The f this file lists the nursing person cases that Hisoka took on. Aruka Mamose, this is the girl Fuyu he was looking for. I may be able to track her down if I use this photograph as a token. Okay, so we're gonna go look for the other girl now. Alright. Well, I guess go on and look for Pleaton. Okay, so we need to go downstairs. I hate that radio. Like, seriously, I can't even... The amount of hatred I have for that radio, if I could pick it up and throw it, I totally would. That's a room I came out of. Whoa, yeah, let's run into the wall. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the office I was just in. And what was... What? Oh, that was the storeroom. Okay. 
Alright, this goes to the front of the store then. Okay. scares. Ahsoka, this time I'll be the one to save you. I'm the one who'll save you, whatever. Okay, using the camera obscura, Yuri found a number of missing person cases, fi case files connected to Mount Hagami. She is now more determined than ever to head back to the mountain and find Ahsoka. Okay, so now we have to find Ahsoka. And... Well, wow, that was it. Okay, well, this, I guess that's gonna be it for today. This is, that was a really, really short episode. Um, I'll probably be doing another one tomorrow. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.